Hello everybody, Music Man here, and welcome to a little installation tutorial video that I have for you on Shogun 2 Morning Sun version 2.5.1. I'll post this link in the description so that you can easily go to it. It's a fairly easy mod to install. Fairly easy, painless, and quick. So, the first thing that you're going to have to do is make sure you have a clean installation of Shogun 2. Now I say again, a clean installation. It's not good to actually have more than more than one mod installed onto a Total War game. You risk breaking the game because they just don't like each other. The files, uh, they're different files and they will conflict and which will cause your game to break. So, uh, you want to go to this you want to go to this thread here. It's the totalwarcenter.net. This is where you can have all of your mods uh, downloaded as well and I'm going to show you a little extra thing at the end where you can actually play as the Ming Dynasty in Eastern China this is the mod that includes that I'm doing a playthrough as well it includes Korea Eastern China uh, Southern Mongolia and Tibet so first thing you want to do have that a clean installation now I say again if you already have a mod installed I say again if you already have a mod installed, for some for some reason people will have trouble with this. Um, go ahead and go ahead and uninstall your Shogun 2. This is only if you have another mod installed. Uninstall your Shogun 2 from Steam. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to go to your C drive, users, your name, app data, roaming. Go all the way down to Creative Assembly. Delete that folder, Shogun 2, because that is some. That's where your save files are. You want to get rid of those as well. Again, this is only if you have a mod already installed. I have to say this 30,000 times because a lot of people have trouble with it. They're like, uh, delete the folder whenever you fresh install. It. No, when if just go ahead and install it if you don't have it installed. But if you do have that mod, if you do already have an existing mod. Delete that folder as well because that's where the save files are and some config files. So, with that being said, make sure fresh install of Shogun 2. Launch the game after you install it because that kind of sets everything in place for you to actually install a mod. So, launch Shogun 2, exit out of it, and then you're ready to install this mod. So, what you want to do, go to this go to this site right here, Morning Sun version 2.5.1. Now, you're See, as you can see, it's three part. Don't don't freak out. That is three part. It's really easy, and it's all Google Drive. So what you want to do, you want to go here. It's a Google Drive, and you can click up here at the top to download. Now you're gonna want to keep these in order, meaning you want to actually put them in a folder. So what I do is I have an external hard drive that I do put in, uh, and I have all my mods here. So you can see I have a lot of mods here already. And you go to Shogun 2, and this is where I have these mods in, uh, downloaded. And it is 7-zip. Usually it's free. You can, it's easily installed, so you can go ahead and extract the files. So, once you have downloaded these Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, put them in, a, put them in the same folder. And I would go ahead, because they're not numbered, or they're not, they're not numbered in a way, so when you download Part 1, put it in the folder and name it Ming 1. The same thing with 2. And the same thing with three. You can actually name it three, but I've got one and two, so obviously the next one's three. So that's kind of my organization skills there, and keep it all nice and in one place. So as you can look here, all the parts in 7-zip format, so you'll need to unpack them. So you're going to put this in your data folder in Shogun 2. Now many of you have multiple hard drives. Mine, my Steam is an F drive. I have a hard drive just for games. Many of you will have the same hard drive for your operating system and your games. It works the exact same way. Instead of C, if you have another hard drive, it'll be F or G or whichever you have named it where your Steam is. The, the actual point is you want to put it in Steam. Steam Apps, Common, Total War, Shogun 2, and Data. So the way you do this is you want to go here where you have your mods you have your three parts downloaded. So click the first one first, extract files. Okay, so now you want to navigate where your Steam folder is. So my Steam is an F drive. And like I said, you may have it all in one hard drive, 
your operating system, and your games, or you may have multiple hard drives. Find where Steam is, and then go to Steam Apps right here, right there, Common. Scroll down to your Total War Shogun 2, right there. There it is. Let me, let me kind of take it out there. There you go. And you want to go into that data folder. Click OK. I'm not going to do it because I've already already have it installed. So select the data folder, click OK. That's the first part. Do the same exact thing for part two. Extract files. Go down to your Steam. Right there. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Scroll down to Shogun 2. And put it in the data folder. Click OK. Do the same thing for 3. Extract files. Go to your Steam. Steam apps. Common. And to scroll down to Shogun 2. Data. Click OK. Now, all of these mods, all, or all of these parts, are now into your data folder. That is pretty much it. That's all you got to do. However, if you want to get a little frisky, you can go down to the workshop here. There is a mod which allows you to play as the Ming Dynasty. So you just go to the workshop, type in Morning Sun. That's all you got to do. Type in Morning Sun. Uh, they have a French version. This is 1.0. This just adds Korea. Uh, this You want 2.5.1 if you do want to have all the extra stuff. However, 2.5 plus, you see the uh, the Daviet submod. This allows you to play as like, I guess, the Ming Dynasty in Eastern China. So just get on that. Just type in Morning Sun. It is the Viet submod Morning Sun 2.5 plus. This includes the point one. Go ahead and subscribe to it. And you also want to do part two as well. There's two parts. This is something a little extra. If you, I, I have it installed, but I, I don't have it activated. So subscribe to part two. It'll ins it'll automatically install into your Shogun 2 folder. That is pretty much it, guys. That's all you gotta do. So now when you launch Shogun 2, play Shogun 2, and right here, it'll launch your mod manager. Now, as you know, Rome 2, Attila, Warhammer, they have the launcher that comes up already, and you can select your mods and everything like that. Uh, Shogun 2 does not have that. That is kind of before they've incorporated all that. So what you do is when you have that mod manager pulled up, you select your Ming Pack, your Part 2, and your Part 3. So all these three, it's going to be Ming. That's the name of the mod folder that you have just extracted into your data file. Select all three of these and if you want to you can select the the Viet plus workshop part one and two You can select these two that'll allow you to play the Ming Dynasty on the mod itself So uh, I've already got it installed So I just select all of those and you click launch Shogun 2 that is pretty much it guys That is really simple if you still have trouble uh, Just go to this go to the side here. It's like I said, it's right there. That's all you got to do Find your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Total War, Shogun 2, Data Folder. Install or extract these three parts into that data folder. That is all, guys. And then you're ready to play the mod. So, hope you enjoyed. This has been an installation tutorial. This is this. I mean, I'm using Windows 10, so it works with Windows 10 perfectly. Now, I do uh, warn, there is a couple of crashes that does happen in the game. It'll close your, out your Shogun 2, make sure it's saved. Usually it's just an auto save, and you can go right back into the game and it picks up and it goes through fine. That's the only problem that I've had with this mod. Every once in a while there'll be a crash, but it's auto saved, so you go back to the auto save and then you're good to go, it goes through fine. So, hope you all enjoyed this uh, installation tutorial, guys. And I'll go ahead and put this in the playlist of my series that I'm doing, as well as the how-to playlist, because I put all the installation tutorial videos in there. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this has been really helpful. Uh, like I said, it's a fairly easy mod to install, so you should have no problem. So, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.